Hello there. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Three's Company 1976 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Jenna Lee Harrison played the character Cindy Snow. She was 18 years old when the TV series ran in 1976. Check it out, at 66 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Northridge, California. I'm not, you are too. <gasps> well, if that's how you feel, Cindy, perhaps you'd like to shop around for a more mature roommate? <laughs> yeah, one that's full grown of the family, so I was going to school and I wanted to be a medical doctor. And I went to Occidental my first year and I graduated from USC with an A average and... Richard Klein played the character Larry Dallas in the TV series when he was 32 years old in 1976. Check it out, at 80 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in New York City, New York. This will hear you. Do they know he's in the bedroom? Why don't I ever meet parents like that? <laughs> Larry, where is Jack? Original last name. Daliopoulos. Right. You're doing pretty well. I think, you, I think you've won the game. We can move on. Now, you want to hear the story of Dali? Joyce DeWitt played the character Janet Wood. She was 27 years old when the TV series ran in 1976. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 75-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Willing, West Virginia. Hi, hello. Chrissy, hi. Folks okay? In the theater department, probably on scholarship knowing you, you were plucked out by a talent scout. John um, had studied acting, had been on the Walton Suzanne Summers played the character Chrissy Snow. She was 30 years old when the TV series ran in 1976. Sadly, on October 15, 2023, she left us due to breast cancer with metastasis to brain at the age of 77 in Palm Springs, California. Her passing deeply saddens us. Except now she has a headache. <laughs> Starting a brand new job tonight as chef at a very posh restaurant. <gasps> Dr. Huggins, he won the Nobel Prize. Uh, he had three cases of testosterone, uh, of prostate cancer. When he went. Don Knotts played the character Ralph Furley. He was 52 years old when the TV series ran in 1976. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on February 24, 2006, he left us after pulmonary and respiratory complications from pneumonia related to lung cancer at 82 in Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. I think I could get lucky with her? Yeah, maybe. Little <laughs> <laughs> white wine, soft music. Mr. Furley, we're talking about our Janet and that old man. Yeah, you gotta do something about him. Like what? Look. I have all this affection for you. Is it, uh... Oh, it's very nice, yeah. yeah. People are very nice, yeah. yeah. It, now, do you ever have people, like, say, who ask for... Audra Lindley played the character Helen Roper in the TV series when she was 58 years old in 1976. Sadly, on October 16, 1997, she left us due to complications from leukemia at the age of 79 in Los Angeles, California. Her passing deeply saddens us. Do you have $36? Yeah, cash. There's a COD package, and, and Stanley's gone to the paint store with Jack, and Gee. I... What, what was your cost? <laughs> well, in other words, when you went in, you didn't know that. Oh, no, I didn't. That I didn't. they were saying she's all wrong. Mm -hmm. Anne Wedgworth played the character Lana Shields in the TV series when she was 41 years old in 1976. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on November 16th, 2017, she left us after a long illness at 82 in North Bergen, New Jersey. We're really feeling the loss. Saying that to keep me from killing myself. <laughs> no, 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 Lana, no. Look, I, I mean it sincerely. I take you just like... Really, I just gotta try to play the character and not worry about 
Not worry about it. <laughs> okay. Now, I noticed you got a petite little bandage. Jordan Charney played the character Frank Angelino in the TV series when he was 39 years old in 1976. Check it out, at 87 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in New York City, New York. Honor to meet a chef with your reputation. <laughs> people here that I have the David Miller cooking in my restaurant. John Ritter played the character Jack Tripper in the TV series when he was 28 years old in 1976. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on September 11, 2003, he left us after aortic dissection at 55 in Burbank, California. We're really filling the loss. On tour, you know, ask her about her job. Today's woman is very intelligent. Wait, I mean, shouldn't I compliment her on her appearance? I mean, we used to called Bananas, based on uh, the show Bonanza. And uh, this guy, Richie Simonton, and all his uh, brothers and sisters and my brother and the neighborhood kids would come over. Brad Blaisdell played the character Mike the Bartender in the TV series when he was 27 years old in 1976. Sadly, on December 26, 2018, he left us due to cancer at the age of 69 in Los Angeles, California. His passing deeply saddens us. How about Cindy? Oh, I know she hasn't been in because I saw her in my dinner break. You did? Where? When? Oh, uh, a couple hours ago. She was getting... Gino Conforti played the character Felipe Gomez. He was 44 years old when the TV series ran in 1976. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 92-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Chicago, Illinois. Alongside the great uh, David Miller. Oh, well, thank you, Felipe. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Six years. Much Tabasco sauce? <laughs> You're supposed to put Tabasco sauce in the dressing. Oh, you see? That is. Norman Fell played the character Stanley Roper. He was 52 years old when the TV series ran in 1976. Sadly, on December 14, 1998, he left us due to bone marrow cancer at the age of 74 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. His passing deeply saddens us. Mean that? Why is everybody telling me what I don't mean? I know what I mean. And what I mean is that I, I, I like being alone. I can do what I feel like. And, uh, many, many actors are capable of this. They just uh, don't get the opportunities too often. If a guy plays a cop, he's a cop. If a guy's a crook, he's a crook. But a good actor.